hi and welcome to excel data entry form and let me show you guys how this works i have four buttons in total here and uh, this very data that we're looking at here of dean jonathan we don't seem to have that data on our spreadsheets as you can see so i'm going i'm now going to click on add record and let's see dean jonathan should be right there there we go that's dean jonathan right there okay and we can reset there and let's add new student information there that's a new student details and the name is let's go for kevin let's say kevin crossbow and address there we go Ready for call call lane uh, PO box or postcode and here telephone number there and now the course code let's enter that that's the course code so it's a software engineer course and uh, that's a research program and that is that is the course tutor professor tony montana there so all we just need to do is to add the details of kevin crossbow there and let's assume we make a mistake add kevin crossbow and it seems we have three kevin crossbow so let's get rid of one there we go i think there's two more there there that's it select kevin crossbow there we go now that you guys seen how the data entry works okay let's start a new project first of all i'm going to okay let's go to my developer menu here if you don't have your dev developer menu all you need to do is go to file click on that and select options and select customize ribbon there that should be your developer icon there okay you can just click on that on the menu and click on ok and that should pop up right here now click on the developer menu and then select visual basic once you are in the development environment let's come straight here where we have insert click on insert select user form there and you can now define how you want your user form i'm going to make my user form the width i'm going to make that approximately 1044 then the height i'm going to make the height about let's go for 800 there and let's come straight to the board uh, the back color here i'm going to change that back color to green there we go now let's go to the tools make sure your form is selected i will now select the frame just drag the frame that much and let's get rid of the text content we have in the frame right here that says frame one there just go in there and delete that okay i'm going to copy this very frame across let's hold on to your control click and drag there's another one here and let's repeat the same thing again copy and bring that down here somewhere here and let's reduce the size of this to about this much grab it here there and this i'm going to copy this very one again hold on to that and just copy there we go i select both and just drag it down right down there now these three frames i'm going to change their color to something brighter so let's come in here and look for i think that we do that's fine that's fine and i need four buttons here now click on the form go to my tools click this one button here and just copy this across there we go and copy this again okay the next thing i'm going to do now is up here i'm going to add a label 
and let's change the color of that label to something brighter as well and the font i'm going to make that about 44 bold click on ok there and in there i will enter data entering form let's come right down here excel data entering form there we go and i think maybe we should just change the color i want to change the color entirely okay come back in here and change that color to green and the font font color i'm going to make that white come back to font here let's make it brighter yeah that's fine all right here i'm going to now add a list box here so this is a list box let's drag it that much that's good drag it all the way now these four buttons let's change the font size to 22 font size we're going to make that bold and that will be 22 there and here i need as follows labels come back here grab a label there's one here and i need a text box it's a text box here i forgot our size and I'm, I'm going to need to form up those move that up and let's just copy and drag that's two three four and one more five there let's change this font size i need to repeat that again okay let's change the whole font size of everything select all and change the font size to something readable i'm going to make that about 20. bold right and i will also copy it across hold on to my control click and just drag it across there we go I'll come right here see these ones these very ones this three here i'm gonna get rid of them and just change this to a label no yeah a label okay that very label let's change the following um the border style i'm gonna make that border style single and get rid of the text content on it there we go let's increase the size to 20 as well make that 20 there and actually need two of those one two bring this down and here i'm going to need a combo box there so come right down here grab a combo box and just drag it here and there that's it done so now we just need to give them a name select the label there and come straight to the caption i'm going to change that caption to telephone and this is going to be txt telephone I'm going to enter enrollment date here. Date enroll. Enroll. There. And so on, guys. So I'm just going to speed it up and I'll get back to you guys. And there, guys, I just have to speed that up. And this is how the whole interface looks now. Okay, let's save it before we run it. I'm going to save. And I'm just going to enter 
let's first of all let's enter data entry data entry for YouTube to there and that's for my second YouTube channel so I'm going to now select let's select Excel macro enable for YouTube let's just complete that to YouTube to there and save that make sure your save as type is Excel data enable and just click on or Excel macro enable and just click on save there we go now I'm gonna run it there but none of these buttons do anything yet okay so we exit out let's exit out the first thing I want to do now is I'm going to double click on the exit here double click on that and I will declare the following variable I'm going to call it I quit let's declare that as VB message VB message box results so I'm going to now say I quit equals message box that will be message box and I'm going to say confirm if you want to exit if you want to quit yeah that's fine there so with a comma there I enter the second argument this is the first argument the second argument for this that's going to be VB I'm gonna call that information and I'm gonna call it VB information comma or let's say plus and that is going to be VB yes or no Comma. I'm going to call it you call YouTube to there and just close that. Paul data entry to okay. Paul data entry to data entry. All data entering to there we go that's fine I'll come right down here let's use an if statement if I quit it was VB yes so that should be I quit VB yes then we want this system to unload unload me and that okay that is exit taken care of let's try that out and see exit. No. Exit. Yes. so the exit is working that's fine now the next thing I would like to do is you see all of the data I, that I have on my on this spreadsheet I would like to be able to display all of this data on, in, on straight onto my list box here so I'm going to double click on the form itself okay instead of a user form one I'm going to come in here and change it to asking the form to initialize and once it initialize I want list list display dot column column counts in total I have 10 equals 10 and I will also add the list row grab all of that paste it right here list row dot that will be row source list row source equals a1 column 
65,356. Okay, that's supposed to be my range. The next thing I'm going to do is, I think maybe I should call the, the enrollment date as well. Let's come in here. I think that is called, let's see the name of that. Enroll. I'm going to call that. Copy. Go back to my. Underneath there, I'm going to enter that dot text. Yeah, it is a text. Equals dates that should give us today's date now the next one is going to be for my combo box this combo box is called combo cob course code dot add item and the very first item i want to add will be as follows that's supposed to be the course code i'm just going to make that five two eight nine okay so let's copy that it's just gonna be about four course code that should that should do two three yeah now the next one here let's make that fifty four thirty two and this is going to be ninety eight ninety eight eighty two and here I'm gonna make that 48 48 52 there so if I run my system now all of those should automatically the list box should be populated with every single data that I have in here okay and dates today's date should appear why the following data should appear on the on the combo box so let's try it out we have an error let's check that out today's date okay i don't think it's today's date so let's see again i could not set the role property let's go to the role property oh i have an a here but i haven't, I haven't specified the column the column is j so now let's run that again there we go 